as we've been telling you, we're tracking a line of strong to severe storms. It could produce hail and damaging winds. This is a live picture from Lakeside Dock, courtesy of Lake Erie Shores Island Islands. Where is this, guys, in the control room? Where is this right now? What are we looking at? It's that's Sandusky? the hotel. That's the hotel um, between Sandusky and Port Clinton, ah, there, Lakeside, Ohio. Gotcha. Near Marblehead. Gotcha. Betsy, I heard earlier. This is a weather term, I believe. She said it's starting to get funky out there. That, that's a very good, yeah. a very technical and good way to put it. <laughs> we thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, a severe thunderstorm watch is in effect right now for most of Northeast Ohio through 11 o'clock tonight. So Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling uh, is with us. This, you know, you keep saying this is one of those storms that is minute by minute. It changes consistently. And you've been looking at the, the big picture behind you, but I, I think even to the, let me think about that right of you, left yeah. of you, based on what we're seeing, there are those other baby storms. Are they forming, are they, are they starting to escalate as well? Well, we have a brand new severe thunderstorm warning to tell you about that has just come out for Eastern Cuyahoga, Lake Geauga, Ashtabula, and Northern Trumbull counties. This is this huge cluster of thunderstorms that we have been watching in Southern portions of Canada that have very slowly been working their way to the east southeast, 40 miles per hour or so. Uh, you can see how healthy this chunk of red is and that's showing a lot of rain, but all of of those thunderstorms that have been firing up ahead of it are now starting to become more organized and we have a high wind threat that's expected to come in there. We also have some scattered storms firing in portions of Summit County, Wayne County, and then farther west we also are keeping an eye on these storms because we will inherit the storms from western Ohio as the night continues to move on. First we head out to the islands though. They are getting pounded right now uh, and throughout Port Clinton. Ottawa County took quite a beating too. Believe it or not the Ottawa County Fair is going on right now. So that was a big deal. Uh, their emergency managers have been on that. Cedar Point is finally starting to see the rain letting up, but the storm is still very close. So if you have folks out there that are waiting for the rides to go back online, that is not going to happen anytime soon. By and large, though, the biggest threat continues to be right now for our folks in eastern Cuyahoga, and I do mean far northeastern, so up around the Euclid area. East Lake is in there, too. And then you hop over into Lake County, Geauga County, Ashtabula County with these thunderstorms storms that are going to start to move in off of the lake. We're going to take a little bit closer view here and I've got the one hour time lapse on here. And again, this is only an hour. I have it slowed down a little bit, but you can see how the thunderstorm complex from farther north has fired up these thunderstorms just offshore of Lake County. So this is the growth, the uplift, and that is a sign that we've got some big problems potentially setting up because we have been talking throughout the afternoon about not just a very heavy rain threat, but we've also been talking talking about wind out of this. And there's a couple things that I want to point out. Number one, I am not seeing significant wind coming into Mentor right now, but that doesn't mean it's not going to because these thunderstorms are going up and they're going to start to put out these winds very quickly. We may also have some hail out of that. But notice this batch of wind that is sitting out here in the central part of the lake. This is moving in too, and this is going to continue to move to the south. Well, I've been tracking winds here in some of the parts of this that are upwards of 60 miles per hour. It all depends upon which pixel you pick at a certain point. But this is packing a punch. This is coming down toward Cuyahoga County. So this is your heads up. Cleveland, uh, Lakewood, Rocky River, Bay Village, Westlake, out into Avon Lake and Avon, Sheffield, Sheffield Lake. You folks have this batch of rain and very high wind potential that is coming in here over the next uh, half hour to hour or so. As a matter of fact, if I kind of put this on uh, a track for you, I'm going to show you that within the hour, we are talking about these winds coming in, not only throughout greater Cleveland, but along the lakeshore. So this is one of the changes that kind of has presented itself here most recently is just simply the fact that we now have not a due west to east kind of a movement, but we're starting to see this line sinking from north to south. So the individual thunderstorms are moving from north, to, or excuse me, west to east, but the line is sinking in, and that's why we have uh, this possibility here of uh, things starting to get really cantankerous along the lakeshore areas. Let me choose my tool a little bit better here. Uh, I do want to go back in here to uh, the islands and Sandusky. 
There is another wind surge that is coming across Kelly's Island right now, and you can imagine how nasty that is uh, for the folks that have been on their boats and whatnot. So a very significant situation setting up for the islands, for areas around Sandusky, although I think Sandusky is improving. But then farther to the east, we've been watching that possibility of uh, that high wind starting to pick up, too. I want to put on the hail here because this is another part that we have been keeping a close eye on, the hail possibilities uh, with these thunderstorms as they have been forming. And you can see we do have some spots where we are starting to see some hail. But look at what is going on here just offshore of Lake County. These little hail cores begin to pop up. And again, this is lift. Lift is the word of the night. OK, I know you're going to hear me say it a thousand times, and I apologize. Uh, but these thunderstorms are all about the lift. The more lift, the faster the lift, the more powerful the storm. That is what we are dealing with right now. And if I query this uh, and show you here, we'll try and get uh, the middle of this uh, to get you upwards of nearly an inch hail that is sitting offshore right now. And that will continue to move to the east. So this is a big heads up for our friends in Menor that you folks have a pretty hefty thunderstorm coming your way here. Uh, and again, this uh, severe thunderstorm warning now continues for for eastern Cuyahoga County, and especially that little uh, corner right here, right around Euclid, uh, over into Lake County, northern portions specifically of Geauga County so far, and then Ashtabula County as that next batch of uh, very heavy rain, but also high wind, that possibility of hail begins to move in too. And you can see where we're starting to see that core that moves in from uh, north to south. So this is an evolving situation. We're going to continue to have some slight changes as far as the timing and the placement goes, but by and large, the idea remains remains the same. We'll have the line moving in from north to south. As it comes in, it will be reacting to a primed atmosphere with all the heat, all the humidity, lots of lift. There we go again. And that will create this uh, complex of thunderstorms that will move from north to south. High wind gusts are definitely our biggest threat, but also torrential rain and maybe some hail as this moves in. Sometimes you can get a little spin up tornado in these kinds of situations, but notice how that line continues to move from north to south through the rest of the evening. By about 10 o'clock, it should be out of here. Then we're off to the races to a gorgeous weekend ahead, and Jason has the latest on that part of the forecast coming up. But the high winds and the flooding are our two biggest threats. Then we talk about hail, and again, there's that slight possibility of tornadoes too. So we have plenty still going on. We're going to send it back over to our news crews because we want to get you updated on what's been happening today. Keeping a close eye on the severe thunderstorms. If anything's issued, you're going to see it right at the bottom of the screen and we'll get you updated again. If we need to, we'll pop back in. But for now, Russ, I think you can kind of take it over for here. All right. When weather breaks out, Betsy will break in. I got you. Thank you. We'll see you soon.